So the first one to come in was kind of a general question. Um, one thing that I'm struggling with is the course structure. What is the systematic structure? Course area, for example, thermodynamics or fluids or HVAC to follow in order to be able to flow in the materials you posted online. I saw one flow chart on the dashboard and another like project activity schedule for 16 weeks. I realized that they are both different in content. It makes me feel like I am not organized to follow the sequences to cover them. If you can help me clarify, this will help a lot. Um, so they're not different. Um, there are at least they should not be different in theory. There's one small change, which I'll, I'll speak to. Uh, but in general, the, the flow chart that you've probably seen on the website, which is this guy, the overall program, uh, you're probably comparing it to the Gantt chart style, um, which I had, I think, in a webinar recently. But um, the spirit of it is exactly the same. We want to cover the fundamentals first and then do the practice modules and then uh, get lots of repetition with extra practice problems at the end, which is what these uh, full practice exams are solutions and the HVAC practice exam. The only change that I made uh, recently was I took this solutions. I used to have this earlier on and I pushed it to the end because what was happening was a lot of candidates were just diving in, you know, do, maybe doing the fundamentals first and then going straight to this. And in here, you have a variety of different types of problems. You got fluids and systems and HVAC and things that are uh, mixing a whole bunch of different concepts. So it really belongs at the end uh, when you've had the chance to practice each of these things in isolation. And the program itself is foundational. So I'm gonna to touch on this in a moment, but another candidate mentioned that they had a tough time with thermo and they were worried about moving on before they had mastery here. But this thing builds on itself. So um, by the time you get to the end, you're, you're a completely different um, candidate when you are doing the solutions and the full practice exam. So I, I move that to the end. Some people just won't be able to help themselves. They wanna dive in and start solving practice problems from a variety of different subject areas right away. If that's you, you know, there's no, there's no rules here. If you wanna just um, hit yourself with, with everything all at once and you don't find that overwhelming, then you can start with the practice exams and you can circle back to the, to the modules. You know, there's, there's really no wrong way to use it, but by the end of your process, you've got to get through most everything here. You know, you should get to a point where 90, 95% of the stuff that's in the program overall uh, has to make sense. And this is my recommended sequence. And, um, you know, I, I would invite you to break the rules if it makes sense to you, but, um, you know, this is the way I would suggest going through it. The most important part being to do these two first. It doesn't make a whole heck of a lot of sense to start solving practice problems and then try to dip in and, and look at these occasionally to get the background that you don't have. You're just going to constantly be bouncing back and forth. So I, I'd recommend getting through all this stuff first and then go full on practice. <clears throat> 